to the channel everyone well I'm in Wales <laughs> I'm at Talakra going to shoot the Point of Air Lighthouse which I've shot before um, but I've not been able to shoot it with a high tide now the conditions as you can see behind me are absolutely as flat as a pancake which is exactly what I want because today it's going to be some long exposure minimalist fine art photography hopefully tide is supposed to be about 8.3 meters at high tide at half past 12 so about an hour and a half before high tide and what i want is the water to surround the lighthouse so i can do a nice long exposure blend that horizon in and have some sort of like minimalist fine arty thing as gary goff would say but we'll see it's um it took me about two and a half days to get here because the welsh government have decided they're going to put 20 mile an hour speed limits through all the towns so set off on thursday evening it's now sunday morning so it's not been so bad <laughs> i'm all for speed limits but my god they've taken this to the extreme it's busy today there's quite a lot of people out not photographers looks like there's litter pickers and stuff like that so might be a bit of photoshop jiggery pokery if they uh to get in the shop but the beauty of long exposure is that even if you just walk through it generally you don't get the ghosts and you don't see them so i'm going to walk through there and that's where the lighthouse is and we'll see what uh see what we can get well it has taken quite a bit of planning this shot because when i came here last year with the officer and the fam it was uh it was only a 6.3 meter high tide 6.3 6.4 and it wasn't quite big enough to get all the way around the lighthouse i have searched all over the internet to see how high the tide's got to be for it to actually cover the lighthouse or the base of it shall we say can i find it no so i've looked at the tide times and basically this 8.3 meter tide we're going to get today because we've had a full moon is about the biggest I think I'm going to get at this moment in time should we say so I've been watching it all month and I've wanted to come and take this picture probably for the last three years but I want the clouds to be really flat because I want to be able to blend the horizon into the sea so you've effectively just got this beautiful ethereal look of the lighthouse with pretty much nothing in the background so this is the plan part of my problem is i don't know how high up this tide actually comes so i can't really set the shot up yet until the tides come in the tide is lapping the bottom of the lighthouse i don't know if you can see it it is lapping the bottom of it so in theory with an hour and a half to go it should come up quite high and the sand is wet in here so that would suggest that yesterday was a similar size tide so that would suggest that it comes up high enough to just get round it but we'll see part of the other issue is when i was here last time i don't remember it being this busy <laughs> and it is busy dog walkers paradise didn't bring milo today because i thought i can't have him running around while i'm trying to do this but looking at it he'd have been an absolute element <laughs> still so i'm gonna have a walk around and just decide whether i want to place the lighthouse on the right or the left of the shot and then we'll take a few test shots and see what happens so i'm i'm looking at this now and i'm thinking at high tide i think it comes right up to here now it's filling it in quite quick in there in the gap so i reckon probably within the next 30 minutes i reckon i might be able to actually start shooting here which is good part of the problem is though and there's always a problem in there these videos there's always a problem but there is the 24 to 70 mil f4 z lens that i've got is a 67 millimeter thread and i cannot for the life of me get the 77 mil thread out of the polarizer holder that i've got i was going to take pliers to it and i thought if i do that i could end up damaging it so it's because i've never taken it out all the lenses are always 77 mil so it's like right 77 it's not 77 mil, 7.7 whatever it is i don't know anyway it's 77 this is a 67 so it's too small so the sun's coming out <laughs> so we'll have to wait and see bloody hell that moves quick that is fast as i'm talking to you here that sand has now almost disappeared 
That is really frightening. Uh, I have to keep a close eye on this today. So yeah, so what I was saying, the 24 to 70 mil is probably the lens I'm going to need to use, and I can't do long exposure with it. So I'll either have to step back and slap it on the 70 to 200, or see how close I can get with the 16 to 35, but we'll see. That is unbelievable how fast that's moved in there. Literally two minutes, that sand's gone. Wow. Right, better get the camera out and start shooting. <laughs> I'll put you back on when I line the composition up. So first composition's lined up. You can see the tide is moving in rapido style here. It's almost at the feet of the tripod. And with these shots, that tripod's got to be absolutely planted. It's a four minute exposure roughly, ISO 64. I've got the polarizer turned on just a little bit. Although I'm gonna turn that off on the next one, I think. Uh-oh, no, no, don't do it. <laughs> um, ISO 64, I'm at 35 mil. Um, and like I say, it's a 10 stop filter. So I think we've got about what, 100 seconds left. Wait, don't, 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 don't hit the camera right. If it's any good, I'll stick it up now. that first shot that's what I came for absolutely belting it exactly what I was after what I hadn't accounted for with this huge tide though is that the bits that are next to where the sort of causeway was for the uh, lighthouse is probably going to be submerged <laughs> so I've probably got a window now till high tide and then I've probably got a window as it's going out because it'll reveal itself again that's what I'm hoping anyway but I've played with the settings now because I can't stand here for 240 seconds or whatever it was. So I've opened up the aperture slightly, kept the ISO the same. So still 10 stop filter and this one's nearly finished. So I've lifted it up as well because the other thing in that composition was, and it was look rather than uh, judgment, those sort of like blocks that are on the causeway, I've got to get them below the horizon line. Otherwise it's going to look messy. So. We'll see, I've lifted the tripod up now, you can see the tripod's properly high, high as it'll go, which, oh, let's have a look, oh yeah, like that, Bobby Dazzler, Bobby Dazzler, could just do now, might pan this, do a panel around, one of the massive advantages of a, D8, a Z8, a mirrorless system over the, um, the, the mirrored system, shall we say, is that it gets me out of jail because I don't have to remember to cover the eyepiece. <laughs> so hopefully there should be no more I haven't covered the eyepiece errors but we'll see anyway if this was any good I'll sit this one up out for you tide now right up and it's not finished yet it's probably another I reckon what 35 40 minutes till this thing's full in so I've got some nice shots there I think of the, of the light the lights changing now behind it there's a little bit of side light coming in from the Sun and it's casting just a gentle reflection on the uh, on the water so I think a long exposure with that might work as well so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that also playing with I was playing with the um, the heights because with some of these shots start off up here and you work your way down and it's like prefer the one that's lower down and what I hadn't noticed before was that I'd lined that black part of the um, of the lighthouse up perfectly on the horizon which I'm not sure if I like it or I don't telling post but um what an absolutely awesome place busy today loads of people I look all we've got down here all walking with the dogs absolute quality 
but I'm going to rattle a few more shots off and then there's always some shots you can take with the dunes as well looking through them onto the lighthouse but everybody shoots that to death so I might grab one just for the uh, just for the sake of it but yeah we'll keep shooting and if any of these shots are any good I'll flick them up now for you So as uh, I said at the beginning, I'm caught between focal lengths. I'm between 24 and 70. <laughs> but I put the big girl on now and I step back. Now this shot's challenging because there's a lot of people on the beach and I'm trying to time it to try and get two minutes before people walk in front of it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm lining a little shot up now, which is with the 70mm at 70mm. Still 10 stop filter, ISO 64, etc. But it's more zoomed in on the lighthouse, so who knows? It might be it might be a bit ethereal, it might not, it might not work. So it's uh you alright? Yeah. Well I was telling you what right in front of me shot. Wonderful. <laughs> it's not my beach though, is it? So at the end of the day you just gotta put up with it. But there's some reflections now in the water, which I'm hoping this might just capture. They walk through that quick, I don't know if that'll even come through with them. Hopefully it won't. And then there's a gap. There's a bit of a gap. So, fingers crossed, I might be able to rattle another one off as well. So if this was any good, I'll put it down for you. So that's it, absolutely awesome. That's exactly what I came for today and it's, it's unusual that it, it happens like that, but it definitely has today. The light is just starting to creep in here. I'm like, I am going to have to call it because I've got to get back, but it's uh, definitely worth a visit. This is Talacra in Wales, dead easy to get to. I think the images that I've taken have uh, been pretty good. It's exactly what I came out to do and some of the time with this that you, you come out and you think oh it's just not working it's just not working it's just not working and it's nice when you actually plan something and it does and there is a lot of planning that goes into these videos there's a lot of planning a lot of research on tide times and weather forecasts and keeping an eye on it all week thinking is it going to happen and it's just nice when it actually does so all oh, the website's up and running now so it's www.andrewjsmithphotography.com leave a little link in the description and don't forget, if you've liked the content, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe if you want to see future content. And thanks to all those people that have joined the family recently. I think there's about 70 subscribers that have joined recently. It's good. Um, but yeah, and uh, thanks for all the support from the people that are, uh, have been subscribed before. Really appreciate it. Until the next time, I'll see you around. Wow. Super.